place a horrible place to come at an Olympic Games, but you just saluted the crowd for the part they played. Yeah, the crowd have just been absolutely amazing, and I'm just getting emotional now thinking about it because it's all of what we've, we've, we've dreamed of, and to come forth is just so agonising after that, all the hard work and all the training, but we have got our individual event coming up um, a week on Friday, so hopefully we'll be able to get back um, on our game for that. Peter, it was all looking so good after three dives, and just the fourth dive. Yeah, the fourth dive, I don't know why, I just kicked a bit higher um, and then couldn't stop it. So, you know, in, in this competition, you can't make mistakes. And unfortunately, we left ourselves with a lot to do. When our last two dives were brilliant, but just, just not enough. So, um, you know, the other guys had higher tariffs and higher DDs. And, but unfortunately, it weren't our day and it weren't meant to be. But, you know, the, the crowd were amazing. And um, it would have been lovely to have stood on the rushroom in front of them, but not today. Tom, what was your overall reaction to the way the two of you dived and to the competition, the way it panned out? Well, it's, like you said, it started off really well. We got our personal best on our first two uh, required dives, and then our third dive was really good. It was just our fourth dive, our reverse three and a half, and if you miss one dive in a field like that, you're gone. And we did pretty well to stay with them and come in fourth place after missing a dive that badly, because 71 points in a, a competition like this is unheard of to actually come in the top four still. But like, like you see, we only needed another nine points on that, which normally we would have been able to do, but it's just... Yeah, it's, it's the way the sport goes. Sometimes it goes in your favour, sometimes it goes against you. But yeah, it is annoying, but then what can you do?